Hello everyone, it's me, Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking about clothes. It's not an eBay haul, sadly, um, but I'm going to be talking about how, like, I feel like my sense of clothing has my sense of style in clothes have changed um, over the 10 months now that I've started on tea and it's just more of me talking about um, what I was comfortable wearing and what I wasn't comfortable wearing um, so disclaimer if you feel like this is going to trigger you in some way or make you feel upset um, please don't watch this uh, mid, mid to late teens I started buying clothes from uh, the men's department um, and because I didn't know, I didn't quite understand sizings of um, sizing the sizes of clothing clothes, clothes size. Yes, <laughs> the clothes size. I would get just something off the rack that I thought that would I would assume that would fit me, and it wouldn't fit me, or it fit me <laughs> too small, too big. Uh, um, um, but that was because like I'd randomly pick it off, and I'd be like, "This looks this looks good on me. Uh, is it really baggy?" Um, and so, obviously, so this was before I came out. Uh, <laughs> so I would subconsciously buy these clothes, and I would also subconsciously copy and adopt some um, clothing styles from my male friends. I had no idea why. I remember I had this one desire to wear one of my friends' clothes because they looked really cool, and it wasn't because I hadn't like. It wasn't because I had a crush on him or I had like this weird obsession, but it was because like he had these clothes that I didn't have and I had no idea why I wanted them, but I wanted them. It makes sense now. And so, um, so I tried to do that and um, as I stopped buying stuff from the women's department, I became more comfortable buying stuff from the men's department and it was weird at first for my mum my, my to see that I've been buying like these really baggy t-shirts and she didn't get it but um, as the years went by I mean, she got used to it um, and she would be like oh I found this in the men's department do you want this and I'll be like hell yeah <laughs> um, but I was kind of like scraping by trying to like find clothes that would look really baggy on me. I still have no idea why I wanted to. <laughs> uh, but um, a bit later on, my younger sister suggested I should start um, wear a uh, start wearing like sm start wearing smartly dressed clothes and wear more bow ties and ties and suit jackets and shirts and suit trousers more. At first I was very reluctant because I was like, oh, I've been wearing casual clothes, I don't know, I don't know how men's trousers work and I don't know about jackets either, so it took a while. But then I got used to it and then um, I started getting really good compliments from some friends saying that I looked really dapper and they really liked my clothes or they liked my bow tie and it was really nice and I was like, yeah, I love these compliments, give more. <laughs> Because I th I'm so used uh, I um I don't really take compliments well. It's either like oh, thank you or it's like a th th like crying ugly crying like thank you so much um sort of reaction. Um, but it was definitely like a boost for my confidence. So I definitely started wearing. Um, I started buying more clothes from the men's department and uh, wanted to look more smartly dressed. Um, and it became my comfort zone. So it came to that point where I'd wear, um, I wouldn't say suits yet, but like just like a nice pair of chinos and a t sh a shirt and a tie. And um, I'd so I'd be so used to wearing stuff like that um, that if I wore like any denim or jeans, I would instantly feel very dysphoric about how I appeared because if for some reason. Um, in my mind, I perceived dressing, being smartly dressed would make me pass as a man a lot more than wearing casual clothes. Um, and that's how, in my mind, when I was younger, when I was younger, wow, oh, a few years ago, that's how I thought. I, th that's literally how I thought, and, um, and I... There were some previous conversations with some friends. I'd be like, "Jeans, ew!" <laughs> like I, it, like it was because I was like, in my mind, I was like, if I'm if I'm not wearing like a suit jacket, people aren't going to take me seriously as male. And but I had these thoughts like 
before I came out and so as soon as I came out it was kind of intensified a bit <laughs> um, and I properly and I actually finally bought myself a suit and stuff like that and just um, it, my thoughts expanded a lot more and um, and and being on pre-T it was pressured myself even more it had, there would be a short time where I had no jeans whatsoever in my wardrobe <laughs> I actually thought it was so unflattering and it yeah, I, wow, ugly thoughts by Andrew. But I've realised in the last couple of te ten months, almost ten months on testosterone, that my views of clothing has obviously changed because I've been wearing um, more jeans and denim lately, um, less ties and bow ties, um, less suit jackets. That isn't because I can't fit them anymore. I oh, I need to buy a new suit. I've now started wearing casual clothing. Um, in whatever category you, you think clothes fit in casual, but I, in my head it's like denim, t-shirts, polo shirts, stuff like that. Um, I know you can make those things uh, smart, but um, in my head that's how I categorised it. Um, so, so now I can, so now I wear like jeans and denim, I feel just as comfortable wearing those now like I did with wearing suits or any smartly dressed clothing um and yeah that's what i wanted to say um this is a bit of a weird video but um i just wanted to talk about how like my views of clothes have changed and how now i feel comfortable in more clothes which means i can buy more clothes <laughs> i can buy more clothes <laughs> yeah i I think what I, I kind of want to get across, and I hope I got across, is that I, you don't have to stick to one sense of clo uh, one sense of like fashion style or style of clothing, um, but also just you don't have to stick to it forever, sort of thing. And it's definitely very hard for um, for trans people wh whether or not they want to go through like the medical route of hormone therapy or not but it's definitely very hard to find clothes um that that you can feel comfortable in and it's and it probably I, this sounds really silly talking about clothes but i mean like it's a huge it's it's definitely a huge thing in terms of like gender expression and gender identity because you want to wear something that that you completely want to express yourself in, but also want to be, you also want people to take your gender expression seriously. If that makes sense, I, I'm sorry if I, if that didn't, but I just, it's, but yeah, I, I, I just, I feel like you don't have to stick to one thing, but, and if you want to stick to one thing, that's totally fine, that's okay, like, but I definitely think my views on denim has changed because, <laughs> Um, it's a good thing, um, because I, cause I was so snobby about it, I really was, and I'm not anymore about it, and there'll probably be more clothes that I'd want to wear, um, but like I said, I just totally missed my point, but, um, it definitely is hard for trans people and non-binary people to find some clothes where they feel very comfortable with it, and, and clothes that are available as well, because, um, I know some ch shops are now doing like unisex clothes and stuff like that but um also just the shopping aspect of just I I whether or not it's going in person or buying stuff online it's still sort of a bit tricky trying to find clothes where um you you'd really like to wear and then sometimes it's like if I wore that people are going to misgender me or kind of kind of thoughts like that um that is my clothes video <laughs> I hope this video makes sense. I really do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but that's what I wanted to get across. Um, I will be posting a video soon about um, a shopping guide to for trans and non-binary people. Um, so it'll be mostly me talking about online shopping and in-store shopping. Um, and I hope that'll be useful. Um, I 
if I haven't mentioned it before, but I have a Tumblr blog now that you can ask questions or follow me. I will try to be posting content as much as I can, and also on Instagram. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope this all made sense. If you want to talk about clothes, please do, because I love clothes. <laughs> I freaking love clothes, as you can tell already. Oh my gosh, I wow. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna like talk about clothes, it's totally fine. Please do, um, and. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> See you all in the next video. Bye! Before that, actually, I started buying clothes from the men's department and I... something gets in my eye. Ah. <laughs> this is another video test. Yes, I am blurry, but I just want to make sure that everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this looks like it's gonna work.